thank the family or the president of the board of trustees and managing committee to invite me to this occasion of commencement of the graduate ceremony. <coughs> Uh, uh, the, the chairperson of, of, the, of the Gulen School uh, and uh, keynote speaker, Mr. Lami Chani, uh, uh, the principal of the school, Mr. Som Paneru, uh, and members of the staff, students, and parents. Uh, let me speak about the experiences of the past a bit. <coughs> uh, uh, sometimes ago, actually, about 15, 20, 20 years ago, uh, I was uh, the chairperson or chairman of the Board of Governors of Kudalu Inter School. Uh, that time, uh, the Crown Prince of that time was studying at that school. And, and uh, uh, the king, one morning actually, one day, he happened to tell me that uh, why don't you introduce IB program at Buddha Nilkuntra School. Uh, then I, I didn't know much about it. I said, uh, let me have a, uh, let me, let us think about it and then I'll come back to report to you. Uh, then we sent some experts to study IV programs being offered in India, and then I got the report back. It, is, it was quite challenging. Only two schools were offering IV in the in whole of India that time. Uh, it was a little different, and uh, the Buddha Nilkantha School was uh, still managed by the British, uh, British government and British headmaster, and I was uh, the chairman, of course, that time. Uh, when I reported that to King, uh, King Virendra, uh, he said that I think he should go ahead with it. Then we talked to the British government. They, they were reluctant to accept because they were running uh, GCE, A, O, and A levels. Uh, and uh, they said that we are good at O and A levels, but we, we are also not sure whether we would be good at offering IB programs. So they were reluctant, and uh, that time it didn't work. <clears throat> uh, then I was uh, on a visit to Geneva, I went to the IB headquarter and I talked to the director. That time Mr. Queen was, uh, was the director of uh, IB programs. I persuaded him and asked him that uh, please allow us to run one program, uh, but the cost appears to be a little high for us. So can we make any exception or anything like that? They said that we can't make exception for the uh, exception for the, uh, for the for the fees, but uh, if you want to, if you are really serious about it, then run the program, ask the parents to pay the fees, and we'll give a grant from our side. Make use of the grant and pay back uh, some of the costs. Actually, so that was how uh, they were persuading me and. Uh, uh, that time also, it really didn't work. They wrote something to Singapore, uh, but they, uh, they didn't respond very positively. So that was uh, the beginning, actually. So when uh, the school was, the wooden school was established in, uh, in Lalitpur, uh, then, of course, uh, so, uh, Som Paneru and I, I, we used to meet quite often. So you said that uh, why don't we start a program which is unique in its character and uh, which is good in quality also, maybe in the form of international standard school. So that was his desire actually. Uh, and uh, he indicated that uh, once I know your response, then I will talk to uh, 
Mr. Guy Ulens also. Uh, so we had some conversations uh, and uh, we decided actually uh, let's, let's make a start. Uh, it was quite challenging in the sense that whether we would get enough faculty to teach, whether we can create the atmosphere suitable for offering, uh, offering the program. Uh, so it was uh, that, that type of role was uh, quite difficult actually when I was talking to Dr. Lamy Chane now. So uh, particularly for the production of the faculty members to teach IB courses, uh, University of Kuba or University of uh, Tokyo, they, were, they, they, were, they have designed a course which is good to prepare the the, the instructors or teachers for this program. So that course, such course was not available in Nepal and probably it was available in Bank Street College, New York. And with the Bank Street College, New York, New York, uh, 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 Medin Lamichani and others, I think uh, uh, quite a few uh, members have been trained over there for about, uh, about an uh, about a year or so, I don't know. <coughs> but anyway, uh, we made a start. It was quite challenging. So uh, we were not only evaluating ourselves, the IV system in Geneva or in Singapore also evaluating our performance. And after we, we operated or we ran the program, after we produced some batches, then I got the report that uh, probably Nepal, Nepal has done quite well. It is one of the best uh, for, to offer the IB programs. So that was uh, how it began, actually. Now, when we look at the quality of uh, staff, when we look at the quality of the facilities, when we look at the quality of the students, so they all make up, they all make, uh, make up the total quality system. Uh, that we are offering here. Uh, and then uh, the building was made ready and the building has all the facilities that we require to operate the programs so the students know more about it actually. Uh, and uh, the, when the school building was being inaugurated, I was there. So luckily it was named after me. I was really surprised. I, I was happy also, but I was surprised uh, uh, how, how it could be done, as a matter of fact, because uh, I was not teaching there, I was uh, not so much involved, except that we had negotiations or discussions with uh, Sompanadu. So that was uh, how it started coming. So then, then the picture, Mr. Ullens, Guy Ullens, when he was here, one fine morning, actually, Mr. Paneru happened to ring me up. He said that uh, uh, I want to bring a, a very good person, a, a, a person who loves Nepal also, uh, this morning. So are you free? I said that, sure, I am free. I am free. You can come. So I had my first meeting with uh, Mr. Pan Mr. Paneru also. And he rang me up. I didn't know that time very much. And, and Mr. Uh, Ullens also were there. So then he told me that uh, you are running a school and I know that, that uh, you are running a university and I know that the university is doing quite well in Nepal. So I have heard nice words about your university. Uh, and uh, uh, I also want to support something to you. Some to, 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 to Nepal, to the university system of Nepal. Then, <clears throat> then he asked me uh, if I want to contribute something, uh, uh, how would you use that money? So that was the question. Then I said that, well, there are so many things, uh, uh, there are so many areas where we could use the money. So uh, I can list uh, quite a good number of them. Then he said that uh, uh, the most important ones, uh, Nepal is uh, the people in the West, people in the developed world, 
Uh, they know that Nepal is beautiful. And when they visit Nepal, when they reach from airport to the hotel, then they see, I think it is not as good as it appeared to be. That was their impression. <coughs> uh, because uh, if they go to, to the side uh, where good hotels are located, so they, they immediately are a little disturbed. So much of noise, so much of smoke. So the vehicles are not uh, uh, in good orders. And then when they were going to Bhaktapur or beyond, and they were seeing so much of smoke being emitted, uh, the whole atmosphere was full of smoke. So it's so polluted, full of smoke. How do you say that it is a good country? It's a beautiful country. <clears throat> So that was, uh, that, that was something which I said, maybe we'll do something, we want to do a little bit of research so that uh, the, the factories, the chimneys are emitting minimum smoke. So that is something which we want to, we want to examine. Then the second thing was about alternative energy sources. We are not making use of hydropower that much at that time. Uh, what are the alternative sources? Hydropower is one and there, are, there could be many. So energy research, energy research, the physicists can use, uh, can, can work on it, or engineers can work on it. That was second thing. And third thing was biotechnology. Biotechnology, the technology, information technology, uh, we missed industrial revolution, we missed uh, Informa information technology revolution also and uh, biotechnology had just arrived and we were likely to miss that one also because uh, we, we, we take up those programs only after it is outdated sometimes you know. <clears throat> uh, in our case biotechnology was not started there are quite good number of people trained abroad uh, in, in that subject, but uh, they were not uh, getting jobs over here. So these are three areas where I want to spend the money if I have any money available. So he said that uh, out of the three also, can you prioritize any? And he said, uh, then I said probably the biotechnology should be something which, uh, which can use people from chemistry, from biology, from environmental science, from engineering, so many uh, the, the experts in those areas also can join hands. So that was, so then he agreed to our proposal. He said that we'll, I'll support, but not, not uh, uh, one-time support. You have, I'll give you some money in the beginning, and if I'm convinced that the money is well utilized, then I will, I will give you the next installment. Then again, we'll evaluate the programs and then we will, we will give another involvement. So that was a quite, uh, quite a good program. Then I discovered that uh, Mr. Mr. Olens uh, uh, was, uh, was a billionaire. He was a very rich person, quite, uh, uh, but a rich person means uh, uh, very, very careful rich person. Uh, he was educated in uh, Stanford University uh, and uh, he was a practical man and we were talking about economics, of course, Mr. Lamisane was talking about economics. So economics is something which is uh, very important for Nepal. So we, we should know how to get money, we should know how to use money. Getting money alone won't be enough because it can have many, many outlets for, uh, for the case. You know. uh, then, uh, then he said that his, when we talk for about half an hour or one hour, then he appeared to be very careful man, very very careful. And then, uh, but he had, he also had love for Nepal. Uh, then I, then I, I, I was very impressed with his, uh, with his uh, suggestions and with his persons. 
so we, we came together then. So Mr. Ullens also joined Kathmandu University School of uh, the, uh, Biotechnology Program. Also he said that I will give something for energy research also. Energy. Uh, uh, the main fund I will give would be in, can be used in biotechnology, but you can use that money for energy research also. So the program went on for a while actually, about, about seven, eight years. Uh, the one more important thing that happened was uh, for evaluating our program, he brought in a very, very prominent engineers in the, he was, he was an expert in the global sense. Uh, he was the president of, uh, there are two very famous institutes of Federation, Institute of, uh, Federal Institute of Technology in Switzerland. One is the Institute of Technology in Zurich, in the German-speaking area, another in the French-speaking area. So the president of, uh, former president of one of those institutes was made the evaluator of our program. So if he gives positive response, positive recommendations, then we'll get the next installment. Otherwise, we don't get the next inst installment. So Mr. Uh, that was uh, Professor uh, John Bordeaux. He was uh, from Switzerland. He came, he used to come here almost every year or two times a year also. And he, he must have come here about 15, 16 times to advise us. So we are lucky that uh, a, a person of that stature was available not only to advise biotechnology and energy research, but he used to advise us in the operation of the university system in a developing world. So we, we got an advisor of his stature uh, for the operation of Kathmandu University itself. So we have, uh, uh, so that uh, uh, not only the financial support that uh, Mr. Ullens provided to us, uh, the support w which came in the form of expertise support was uh, remarkable actually, that uh, we have taken tremendous advantage of, of that one. So that is about, uh, about the uh, Ullens gesture and, and the performance of Ullens school over here, the performance of the school, of course, uh, uh, the results tells about it. So the, the promoters might be claiming a lot, but the results we have produced in the form of good graduates to the IV program, then, then we can say that we can claim that uh, now we have, made, we have made a beginning of one, one good institution, creating a good institution in Nepal. Uh, because uh, uh, creating a good institution, uh, it, it, it takes uh, lots of efforts. Uh, I was, uh, uh, I happened to be the vice chancellor for a long time actually, a long time, and we introduced many new programs, new programs, and these programs have uh, gone a long way, and many of them have proved to be good, uh, good in the country. Uh, I would like to congratulate the parents, and uh, parents, because you have made a good decision. Probably you can judge the decision. Many of the parents are quite, uh, quite uh, uh, aware of the quality, and uh, you you already know about it. The cost. There, there may be a little bit of complaint about the cost. So the cost is, uh, uh, if if you know, so therefore uh, a good quality education you are getting here in Nepal. If you send the students to, to do the same course anywhere else in the world, it won't be cheaper. The cost that, uh, for that quality education, the cost is, uh, is quite reasonable. So that is, uh, that is our assessment of the whole program.